I think I'm getting housebound. Come on, let's go on an adventure. I'm standing in the depression of a Neolithic ancient flint mine and we can actually go inside one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down into the ground and into the tunnels of the place where people used to come and mine flint four and a half thousand years ago. Oh, bumped into myself. So this is all new trying to make this a bit safer. Anyway, down we go. What you've got to remember is they didn't have a JCB back in the day. They dug through this chalk with antler picks and shoulder blade shovels. That's not the flint they were after. That's the flint at the top. They kept going down and down and every step that I take is taking us deeper another million years. There's a wall stone which is about 70 million years ago and they came all the way down until you get to 100 million years and you can see right at the bottom of the floor there, that's the floor stone they wanted. Well, these places always get you inside, in your belly, because we're in a very, very ancient space. And once they got the flint off the floor, they had to start mining. They mined galleries to get more flint. So I'm gonna take you inside one of those galleries so you can actually see the working environment. If you look along here, you can see what they didn't take. <clears throat> I told you I'd bring you on some adventures. You're in a Neolithic ancient chamber. So, I don't know if I've already said, but I'm at Grimes Graves. This is where I grew up. This is where I had my childhood. And um, this is where I learned some of the skills that I've got, namely flint napping. And uh, Grimes Graves is in East Anglia in the UK, United Kingdom. You can come here and you can visit it. It's open to the general public owned by English Heritage. Anyway, let's go in a bit further. You do actually have to mind your head a bit. Imagine going through there and dragging the raw materials out. It shows you how important this stuff was. Anyway, hopefully now you know a little bit more about me, where I come from, and um, why I do what I do. So um, thanks for watching.